And we got a quarter of a million dollar offer and we turned that down because we couldn't, weren't going to have complete uh, creative control of what we wanted to do. And it would become something It's just like just a money grab thing, which yeah. we're not interested in at all. We just want to make cool stuff. Yeah. And if, if we're not making cool stuff, there's no, there's no point to us to do it. Yeah. All right, so welcome to Be The Drop. Thanks so much Wake for joining me. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I'm here in Paraka with Raka Raka, which hey. I think has got a bit of a background story there in the name. Mm. But to start us off, um, <laughs> so Spoiled like Scrappy is getting like the, <laughs> the Scrappy treatment. Getting really aggressive here. <laughs> so you've brought along your item of significance and that's something that connects you with your community. <laughs> yeah, so, it's a really dusty play button. And can you explain what it is? And oh, like YouTube it. gives it to you when you reach a million subscribers. But they've shrunk now. They've, they've done Yeah, you should see ones. them now, they're really small. They're like really small. So we, we were lucky to get a big one. Like we started putting videos on YouTube just because people were taking videos, because then I was putting them on Facebook, these fake fail videos. And people were re-uploading them saying that they made them. So I just started making like videos paying out like trends that were going big on Facebook, like you know, the Harlem Shake and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so we're paying out that sort of stuff and they just started to blow up off my, just my profile page. Yeah. And we've got a following, like a small following, and then, yeah. It's the same sort of stuff that we've always been making, like just fun, quick. Well, they're not so quick now, they take longer to make now. But it's always just been something to do. Like, we don't watch what, like the stuff that we make. We like enjoy different kinds of movies. But violence is just fun. Like it's fun. Yeah, mate, to, and... to film, film violence is very fun to do. Yeah. So yeah. we've always loved doing it. Like always like making like a cool arm um, blowing effect or... So or every video we're trying to do like something weird and different. So, like, different effects. How do you fund that sort of stuff? Well, like, uh, we save up a lot of the time for videos, and also we get a lot of brand deals. Not a lot. Oh, we get a lot. Uh, we turn down a lot of brand deals. We turn down a lot of brand deals, it's true. But, like, we work with Netflix and, like, gaming companies. and mm. Like, they, they approach us if they want to promote, like, a, a film or, like, a video game. We can make a video based on that stuff, and that's just fun to do. Yeah. Like, we, on... we turn down, like, 99 out of 100, because we get a lot. And, and why is that? What's your reason for If it doesn't fit with our brand or if yeah, they're too controlling they, of the idea. Or they're too like, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. They, they'll say, oh, we want you to rack like a video, but take away everything that is made. Like we did like a Nerf video, which was like us playing on Nerf guns. It had like muzzle flashes and like tomato sauce blood. And then like uh, Nerf approached us and said, can you do a video like that again? But just no tomato sauce blood, no muzzle flashes. I said, I don't know what you want yeah, to no, do. Yeah, like no, yeah. So that'd be something that we turned down. But you're looking towards building a feature film, is that right as yeah, well? Yeah, well, we're developing our first feature film now. The writing. Yeah, we're writing. But trying to find time to do that while doing, because uh, there's so much else going on, it's hard to find time to do it. To us, we'd always wanted to be into fil feature filmmaking and cinema and stuff like that, getting in the movies. But the new generation, the next generation, don't want that. They want to be YouTube stars. They want to be on YouTube. and Because it's I like... Uh, easier way to access your audience it's quicker anyone it's can better. do it yeah anyone yeah. can do it so it's like and it's relatable there's lots of personalities you can relate to it's, you'll find someone to relate to on the internet or like that gets your humor or... and it's just easier you don't have to go out to watch something so it's just easier to just watch on, on youtube and i want to do a little bit of background as well like where did this start do you think your passion for i don't know, like when we were very very young we were still making stuff like at nine we were making really violent clips we had like a black and white camera. We used to drench our teddy bear in water and throw it at the wall and pretend that it was blood. We used to draw really violent <laughs> movie covers. Did your parents be like, Danny. oh my gosh, did yeah, we were really disturbed. No, to Death Teddy. 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 Teddy didn't do Death Teddy. His name was Death Teddy. <laughs> and now a comic series called Poor Man, where Poor Man used to die in different ways. And, and but the even teachers that, were really concerned. It. They said, what's going on? He's not right in the head. We just love like filming stuff, just taking the camera and filming stuff. Because we had like our, our neighborhood, we had a bunch of kids all the same age, so we just met up, just went out and made stuff. Did a lot of backyard wrestling as well. And a lot so, of vandalizing. We were like ferals. A lot of crime. We were real big ferals. <laughs> 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 like, you know those feral kids you see on the street, like a big group of them that are like, you think you? That was us. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are really selling yourselves. <laughs> 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 but the scale of your productions increased and so has the budgets for them. Yeah. So how does, you know, what happened? Where was that turning point? Well, just because like we, well, we, 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 we didn't monetize on YouTube till a million subscribers. And we said no to every brand deal. Every brand but then brand deal, deal like, because yeah, they just got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Like start off like 3,000 offer. Then we did that. We did a three thousand dollar video. Then that was the first one. That was first. That we was got first like a twenty thousand dollar offer. Then fifty thousand. Then like it gets to the six figures. And like brand deals get they get really big and like it's very. It's hard because like, there's lots of people approaching you. There's some that you can't trust. 
So you have to know who you can trust and who's out to get you. Well, that's pretty hard to know. Well, yeah, you, yeah. Well, you, you learn know. through you learn through failing a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> but now that we have like a, a manager, so she takes care of m- most a lot of, of that stuff. stuff. Those LA meetings are insane. Yeah. Yeah. In, w- in what fun. way? Someone's like, yeah, come thing. come, just chat to us. Uh, we're at this house thing. And we go there and there's like a party with m- girls dressed up as mermaids. And Oompa Loompas walking around. And Oompa Loompas. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? <laughs> like, it's really bizarre. <laughs> and we got friends in LA that are yeah, we got, and, really ambitious people. Like, yeah, ambitious. Like always, everyone's doing something. Everyone's making something. And, and it's something. all Yeah, it's all entertainment related, which is really cool. But like back, back in Adelaide, here, no one's very ambitious at all. So it's easy to get comfortable here and not really do much whereas you know like our friends will be like oh yeah just finish work and da 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 but over there it's oh yeah cool we're working on this movie and let's do that so it's it's more inspiring to go do bigger stuff when you're when you're in los angeles yeah, yeah. and so would you guys describe yourself as ambitious yeah i'd say so when we're over there we are <laughs> yeah well no, like, like it's yeah it's easy to say oh look we've made enough money now or like we can be comfortable and just live in that well who was it macklemore said success is the killer of creativity or something like that which is completely true because once you when you're like making stuff, making stuff, you know, you really want to get a name for yourself, da, da, da. but then when you do, it's sort of like, yeah, well, I've done that now, so. Well, I don't think it's like that. What's well, that? Like that? It's <laughs> no, easy to get comfortable. It's like, Michael oh, gets comfortable in Adelaide. You, you haven't done your feature film yet. Yeah, I haven't yeah. done that yet. So you haven't made it yet. So. Sorry. Well, thank you so much for joining me. It has been quite funny. I do have sore cheek muscles now. <laughs> um, but can you like conclude for us with the racker racker be the drop tip, which is your top communication tip? Uh... Keep making stuff. Never stop making stuff. Don't be afraid to make something bad because when you begin, it is bad. I don't think that's a communication tip. No, no it's a good one. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with it. Yeah, but you. you can have something different as well. I've got something a little better than that. Right. Well, I'd like to hear it, really. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, there'd be lots of um, uh, distractions there could be that can draw you away from what you're trying to do. Just stay true to what you were doing to begin with. Mm-hmm. Keep it. Of course, you'll change along the way. Yeah, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> and for that, really philosophical be the answer. Drop. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'm trying to be f- philosophical. That's no, good. All right. Uh, our main thing is don't stop. Be the drop. We'll see you next time. Ah, yeah. <laughs>